This was a challenge question today in analytic, geom uh, analytic trigonometry, which was verifying trig identities number 33. And what we're supposed to prove here is that tan theta plus tan, I'm sorry, tan alpha plus tan theta over 1 minus tan alpha tan theta is the same as sine alpha cosine theta minus cosine alpha sine theta all over cosine alpha cosine theta minus sine alpha sine theta. Holy mackerel. Okay, we can do this. Now, some of you who saw this problem earlier, this was the left hand, this was the right hand side, this was the left hand side, but I'm going to do this as a, as a, a right hand proof, so I just switched them around to make it look like a left hand proof for everybody else. So I'm going to turn this side into that side right before your very eyes. Okay, this is the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to use the, uh, the tan identities, and I'm going to switch this out. I'm going to call, uh, we know that tan, that tan theta is sine theta over cosine theta, so I'm going to claim that identity here and take sine alpha over cosine alpha is the same as tan alpha plus tan theta is the, remember tan is sine over cosine so is sine theta over cosine theta isn't it is that all right and then all right you know what I, I think I'm gonna do if you don't mind before I put this out so this is me cleaning this part up okay so what I'm going to do while, while I'm here is I'm just going to do this. I'm going to try to put these two fractions together. So I don't have a common denominator. The common denominator would be cosine alpha cosine theta. So I'm going to multiply this piece over here by 1 using cosine alpha, right? And this side by cosine theta. I hope that is okay with you. Cosine theta. Then I'm going to put all this crap together because now we have a common denominator of cosine theta cosine alpha, don't we? So just this top piece of the fraction, again, we're up here. We're up here. So we now have cosine theta sine alpha plus sine theta cosine alpha, right, all over this piece right here, which is cosine theta cosine alpha, all right, or as we like to say, cosine fish. Uh, and then I'm going to just put this piece back together, if you don't mind. So this bar right here is this one right here. And it's 1 minus tan alpha tan theta. I had somebody comment a while back that they hated the fact I used different colors. But I guess out of all the people who have watched the videos, I only heard it once. So if you're watching and thinking the same thing, be nice, but let me know. And we'll go from there. Thanks. Um, okay, so now, if you don't mind, I'm going to start working on this piece down here. So I think I'm going to try this. I've never tried this way before. I'm going to try this, see if I can pick this up. Of course not. Of course not. Now give me one more second just to try, okay? All right, half a second more. All right, I give up. All right, so what I want to do is this. I just want to screw with this piece over here, right? So I guess this is the way I'll do it, you guys, because I don't want to waste the time. I'm going to just pull this piece over here and just work on it, see if I can get a replacement piece for it. So what I'd like to do, I'm looking at this now, I'm thinking, I, I think I can get a complex fraction out of this. So if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is just this one right here is this one, this negative sign is this one. Tan theta, I'm sorry, tan alpha is, is sine alpha, right, over cosine alpha, right, times, and this, so, right, so this is a replacement piece for this. Is that all right? And then I'm going to try to make a replacement piece for this one. And remember, tan, again, is sine over cosine. So it'll be sine theta over cosine theta, right? Now, I think you can see that we're going to end up with a denominator of cosine alpha cosine theta. So what I'm going to do is this one right here, right, this one right here is this one right here, isn't it? So if you don't mind, I'm going to replace that with this. I'm going to replace that with See if this makes any sense to you. I'm going to replace all that crap with this, with, with cosine, right? I'm using this denominator, cosine alpha, cosine theta, sorry, cosine alpha, cosine theta over cosine alpha, cosine theta. It's anything over itself is 1, isn't it? So this is still 1. Now look what happens here. Remember, I'm building a replacement piece for this. 
this times this will give us this back, won't it? So now we have here, we're going to I'm going to erase this and just replace this piece. So if you need to, you can wind the video back to see how I did that. But I'm just going to put all this crap together now. And it's going to be cosine alpha. That sucked. Cosine alpha cosine theta minus sine alpha sine theta, right? All over cosine alpha cosine theta. Cosine alpha cosine theta. So somebody's out there, and I know you're out there, and it's cool, but I just want to help you with this. Say, oh, this cancels. This doesn't. This can't cancel this because these are not factors. This isn't a factor. This is an add-in. This is being added to this, right? Through subtraction. Okay. So this can't cancel. But what we can do is this. Now we have a complex fraction, don't we? So I, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a second to remind you of complex fractions work. A complex fraction is a b over c d. And the way that you solve one or simplify one is that you take the numerator times the reciprocal of the denominator. So you would take AB times DC. So I'm claiming that right now. This is the rule for complex fractions. I'm going to go ahead and use that rule, if you don't mind. All right? So what we had was applying, right, applying this rule up here, applying this rule, we would have cosine, I'm going to need a lot of room here, you'd have cosine theta sine alpha plus sine theta cosine alpha over cosine theta, I wonder if you can see this yet, cosine alpha, that we're about to get really lucky here, times the reciprocal of that, right? So we get cosine theta cosine alpha, do you see it? I just rearranged you so you could see it more clearly, over cosine theta cosine, I'm sorry, cosine alpha cosine theta minus sine theta, I'm sine alpha sine theta. And it looks like hell, but we're there, man. We got this done because look, these cancel. And we end up with cosine theta sine theta plus sine theta cosine alpha all over cosine alpha cosine theta minus sine alpha sine theta. Wow, right? But look, this is what we promised ourselves, isn't it? And there it is. Oh, look at this, you guys. That was a typo. Good. That was a typo. Okay, so we did it. All right? Could not be happier with your work. You're brilliant. Actually, you're just fantastic. If you have comments to make, please make them. I hope that you're already subscribed to, to my channel. If not, I'm, I'm asking you to help me out with that. I'm trying to get a million lessons taught. So, appreciate it. Good work.